Life is like a game. It's a reflection of our inner worlds, reflecting our emotions and thoughts. You can't change the one that you're looking at in the mirror. You only have the power to change yourself and how your reflection changes. However, most people go in the opposite direction, changing their reflections rather than altering their own lives. Every person wants to change their lives or at least every single human being out there. Instead of sitting there and willing the world to go according to them, they try to force the world into getting what they need. It is impossible, so why bother trying? Why not just push yourself? No, that's not true. This is the reason why people who try to lose weight often fail. When they have an idea in their mind of what they want to look like, they force themselves to reflect it and all the promises that come with it. People are even more stuck in death because they're thinking as though they cannot escape it. There's no way out. The mirror principle is described by Vadim Zeeland in his book Reality Transfers because life is a game like virtual reality. This book posits that life is just a game that our common language preaches rebirth after death to help us break through it and move on with the good bits. This old saying also says that life's river flows in one direction. In this sense, life is like a virtual reality experience where you and your living experiences are all perspectives of what really happens to you when you die. It may not seem like it, but the masses are starstruck by virtual reality. When someone gets their first taste of it, they got lost right away and soon can tell real life imagery and simulated environments apart. They're immediately unsure whether it's a digital world or the real one and can't see the difference between them. They're caught up in a new and exciting game thinking that this is real. Force themselves through the process trying to make some progress, but most of the time is just a struggle. So what is the point? The engaging is a point of course, it's just a game. It's okay to lose your temper when your character dies in the game or you lose a level, but we can remember that it's only a game by remaining calm. So when something undesirable happens, it's important to remind yourself it's just a game. Then if you attach positive meaning to the event or do not react to it with negative emotion, the event will either fall off into nothingness or will create a positive event in your life. Remember to attach positive meaning to the event or try to get too upset about it. Putting your power in the palm of your hands is a game-changing concept. By becoming aware of your choices and having the choice to perceive any given situation as you want it to be, you're creating a new reality for yourself. And this negative event was just a wake-up call for you to take charge and set the course of your life in the direction. That's right for you, of course. Another universal spiritual thought is that there's nothing positive or negative in itself. Monks and spiritual practitioners preach the idea that this life is inherently neutral. Only you are attaching positive and negative meanings to events and making them more impactful than necessary. And I say importance of the events are that we are projecting emotions either in the fun or the future good or bad timeline and attaching meanings and expectations to it. In this way, it is your responsibility to create your own happiness and unhappiness. If you are constantly attached to happy events happening in your life and get disturbed by negative events, you're actually inviting more negativity into your life because you are thinking about it more. On the other hand, if you detach yourself from both positive and negative events and see them as neutral, you will be able to live a much more peaceful and calm life. It can be difficult to overcome someone else's toxic behavior, you can always take action. You might get caught up for a bit, but if you are awake to your truth and know that this is just all a game, then you will quickly realize the power you have within yourself and choose not to react. And so you will be free from their toxic behavior. Here's one piece of advice Eckhart Troll has for those struggling with negative thoughts and emotions. There's no problem in the now when the focus is, well, on what's happening right now. What's going on now is just being, flowing, and existing. When we're present, everything stops as a reaction to what our mind is currently doing to us, and that includes negative events. Or as Troll puts it, as a negative event only persists because of our undivided attention. You create these negative events because you give them so much attention constantly. Realizing that it is a level in the game is empowering. You don't have to force yourself to be happy, just realize that it's there and makes demands on you. It's up to you when you decide where you want to focus your time and energy. Sometimes, things happen for a reason and if you're not feeling great about something, it may just mean that you want or need to switch levels. Weighing in on all possibilities is key to finding what makes you happy. If you're like most humans, your thoughts are never content. If this thought pattern continues to remind you of being hungry while you have a mouthful of food, it'll likely trigger binging. This is the power of non-reaction. A key aspect of project success is ensuring that you have dedicated enough time to start and finish. 
Another thing worth noting is how much time it takes for a project to unravel when there's too much negativity involved. It's human nature to zoom in on trivial details and overlook the big picture. If we tear down what makes us unacceptable while taking into account that there's no such thing as a perfect life, we can come back from any situation. We do, however, need to focus our attention on making changes for the better within ourselves. Your consciousness is your only reality. If you take the time to be conscious, you'll come to realize that nothing is happening outside of your mind. It's all an illusion inside your head. You exist on this plane while you sleep and dream. There's nothing to do with these hours or days that are passing by outside. It doesn't matter if the act happens or not, because your consciousness will allow it. Wake up your inner being whenever you find yourself passive. Take note of what you want and go for it. If you take the time to be conscious, you'll come to realize that nothing is happening outside of your mind. It's all an illusion inside your head. Change your attitude, embrace the person you want to become, and reality will begin to reflect the tense start flowing in that direction. Choose wisely what you give your attention to because it will become your reality. If you focus on the negative, that is when you will pay attention to what you will experience. If you want to change your life, start by changing your thoughts. Pay attention to the things that make you happy and let go of everything else. It is up to you to create the life you want to live. Choose happiness and everything else will fall into place. Your choice is all that matters. What you choose to give attention to will stay in your experience. So choose better things and don't care about anything else. By understanding how to react possibly to events, you'll be able to live more freely. By adding positive meaning to difficult situations, you can mold reality that way that works best for you. Give your attention only to those things in your life that makes you happy. And trust that everything else will take care of itself. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos.